Well, this certainly was unexpected. Um, oh, joy. Um, Um, wow. Um, give me a moment here. Is that, have we got everyone? Um, we're doing good. Just a bit surprised to be attacked by a hoss raid. That, um, that'll, that'll probably take you the entire session. Like, I want to help, but I'm like, I can't see anybody's names. Um. Anyway, it appears in the night we achieved 100 followers, which is great. Um, I'm just, I, I, um, hang five. Hi, Chopper. We're great. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's, assuming we stay this way for some time, <laughs> um, we will have to we'll have to pick a date for um, the 100 uh, follower stream, and then we'll we'll deal with that. It's probably not going to be a Sunday. I'm not going to lie. Sunday is probably out. we're in for a bit of a time clear chat real quick um okay i just have to remember how to do that um chat settings clear chat did that work Chat cleared by moderator, prevented by BTTV. What is... Okay, that didn't work. Sorry, deleted messages. Sorry, I'm trying to, um... Sorry. Clear.
Uh, what? So I tried to clear chat, but it... it clear my chat. Okay. Okay, so to do that I have to go through BTTV for some reason, and then that's suddenly acceptable. Did that work? Yes, I think so, because I'm just... Rather than seeing Streamlabs and everything, it's just... Um, just all the, the list of all the band toss accounts. Um, sorry, I've got really itchy nose. This is, this is what happens, like, when I get anxious. Like, just just anxious. It's just an itchy nose time. That's, that's what's happening here. Um, okay, so, after all that, hello! We've hit 100 followers, and we did this in the night, surreptitiously, without anybody noticing or anything like that um <laughs> so that, that was a nice surprise um so thank you um not hoss anybody <laughs> the last human person scottimus prime tv them they did this hi wwe how you been 23 bots. Nice. My biggest raid, and they weren't even real people. So disappointing. Right, let me just clear some things now that it's been ruined by people. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, God. Um... Zero. Because none of you achieved anything. Sorry. <laughs> um, we, we're good. We had a pretty cool day. I spent most of it playing uh, games with uh, Abnock, to be honest with you. And then I sat on a phone call, made people I don't really care about proud of me. Um, <laughs> And then I went to work, and then I came here, played a bit of a game, and uh, started the stream late because Abnok and I required victory. We required victory. Um, it was fun. It was really good. We we're um, we're learning we're learning teamwork on Northgard. That's what we're doing. Um, no, I totally didn't do that my public i absolutely do need to especially now that i've hit 100 followers um i like plip plibic plib public 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 we're gonna go with public um but yeah that was fun that was exciting that was a change of pace you have pictures of frog things. What do you mean? Show me. Show me everything. I must know. Tell me all. Oh, sure, of course. Sorry, sorry. I thought you meant like an emote or something. But yeah, that makes sense. No, don't mind me. I'm just being a... A bit silly. Anyway, speaking of silly, let's get into this game. Minnie, come here. Come on, sweetie pie. Come on. Come on, you. Okay. Minnie's making my, my cat Tigger nervous. Um... She's not trying to, she's just getting a bit too close for my bean, my nervous bean. Um, okay, so, here we go. Why is this game so loud? Like, I don't want it to be too, too quiet, because that would suck for everyone involved. Um, okay, so, here we go. Oh, do you know? I really enjoy the Dark Descent. 
But I'm also really hyped to move on to Machine for Pigs. We might... It's... it's all, it, Well, I say it's almost October. Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. That's right. The Death Door. Yes, Abnock has been busy and not been properly able to, like... greet everybody yet. Um, okay, so. This is a very interesting part, to be honest. <laughs> Thanks for the hype! We couldn't be hyped earlier. Because of the raid. But now we're going to have to be hyped. Do you, do you hear it? You can hear it, can't you? Splishy splashy. If you don't hear the splishy splashy, let me know. I can turn up the volume. Absolutely. I will, I will let you know if I need help. But I think for now I'm kind of... I'm good, I think. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Now. Oh, God. I've never been happier to exist in this glorious sewer. Oh. That's not good, is it? It sure is an escape route that I can't have. Oh, Jesus! What the F was that? That's not okay. Stop it immediately. I feel like that's the water monster on the other side of that there, uh... Refill. I refilled my lantern, which thank goodness I needed because apparently I don't. Oh, I've got this. That's fine. That's one. Okay. don't know what this does. Um, okay. The levers control the noisy machine. Will this make the noisy machine quiet? Or will it make it louder? and put it down this way. I have a... I might be doing this wrong, but that's okay. Trial and error. Yes! <laughs> Use those froggies! Okay, well. 
just so everybody knows, I'm terrified. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's assume... Sure would be an awful time to surprise you <laughs> with a sudden and loud noise. It sure would. Let's not think about it too much. <laughs> Look, if you wish to experience joy at my expense, And that's up to you. I, of course, am only a scared person trying their best. Seems to be loose. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Why must you yeet? I'm just gonna like uh, hang out up here for a bit like just just chill out yeah yeah you see you see how nice and safe we are in the middle of this ladder because apparently there's not an evil creature in the world that understands how a ladder works hey there demons it's, it's me, me. Your, your boy, boy. So, but I thought I'd try. Maybe she's the one of those ones that just goes slides down. I just need to poke it with something. Just be like, hey, I'm here. for me. Nobody likes you. Oh, thank you for the sub. Oh, thank you for the gift. What is this noisy machine doing? gifts up exactly thank you so much i appreciate it um wwe welcome to the community i hope you enjoy your gifts up and remember to say thank you celebrating being officially on holiday sweet 
Are you just ha are you just having some time off, or are you planning on doing anything special? Going somewhere? Meeting somebody? Oh, I remember what I need to do. too fast. Ooh. What are you doing? Stop being awkward. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna make some it. Two weeks off to play Final Fantasy VII Remake with one of the people I played the OG back in 1999. Ooh. Sounds fun. Do tell me how the remake goes. I mean, obviously no spoilers, but I hope you enjoy it. And I'm always curious to find out new things. played half of it already. It's really good. Nice. Just tell me one thing, though. Tell me one thing real quick. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought I saw something. Um... Does... Just does Barrett wear a sailor suit? Does he though? Because you, you gotta tell me. I assume. Does the. Does that. Does the remake finish as soon as you leave Midgar? Um. Currently. Or is there more? That sounds slower, doesn't it? It does. Okay. We'll have to wait for the Sailor Suit Barrett reveal, then, I guess. It's 60 hours by itself, I believe, but oh yeah. Yeah, Midgar is a long time, and I'm not surprised the remake would have it. Uh... Ugh. Okay. They went to town with Cloud and the dressing up thing. I bet they did. It is a source of joy for everyone. Okay, cool. There we go. That sounds even slower. Son of a bitch! It's like, wait a minute. Someone's disturbing my noise!
Okay. Just what we need. Absolute terror. Um, okay. So. Not being funny or nothing. But that was awful. We didn't even see anything. And that's the way I like it to be. Sounds. Daniel, turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Yep. Oh, look, Lord Num. Yeah, thanks. How am I, sanity wise? I have a slight headache. Yeah. Free meat. It's <laughs> the last time you ate in game. Uh. Probably far too long. Um, okay. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. What was that? What was that? Real quick. Uh, a barred gate was torn down by the creature. Okay. Solid. I hear it. It's there. Nope, don't like it. Tread carefully my foot. I was cornered. You did this to me. <sighs> hey, next time I'm hiding behind a corpse. No, leave me alone. I hate you. Ow. This didn't work out. This is this is going to happen a lot. Um so I apologize for that. But uh, that's where we are emotionally and physically and in a flesh room. Okay. For a second I thought that was movement, but it was just the water reflection. Which, by the way, let's take a moment to appreciate. I think this was the way that it... Okay, this is the way we came. And this is what it tore down. I think. Yes. I, for one, am glad this... I mean, it 
is technically a stealth game, but also, thank God, water, you know, doesn't count as, like, being a, a, a huge problem. Because there's so much water in this game. <laughs> Back off, you! <laughs> okay. Thank God nobody knows what friggin' ladders do. Ladders. Monsters' greatest weakness. There is never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could you not? How how could he know that Henry would show up down the road even at his house? Is he that bad? Would he do that? Great. Hello, stick. I'll keep this. Oh, it works so much better with stealth in action. Sure does. This, this room, this place, this terrible thing. Okay. has a few drops left. 9th of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Oh, uh, yeah? Well. Not some there's Aww. Okay, so Okay, so There's nothing in this one as far as I know. Yeah. I think we have to go down, if I recall correctly. Sometimes you do need to go Ellen Ripley on the road. Who is Ellen Ripley? I mean, forgive me for sounding slightly ignorant, but uh... It's the only way. only way that I will ever sound. Ooh. Isn't this just the worst place to hang out? Oh, 
cabinet just... Make you crazy. Anything, Alexander? Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt it. But will it be worth living? That's a deep and existential question. Probably best we can't open that. Nobody needs to know. Absolutely not. Do you want to stop Alexander? Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. The other's one. It's not very promising at all. The sight of is basically perfect. But I guess it's my own. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Then if he tells the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken mold and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leave matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transept. You should be able to find them there. I, I, I honestly, I just want to fix a thing. Uh. Diana, I hate to bother you further, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at it. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was always felt astonishingly, astonishingly rooted out by friggin... That I spent a really long time fapping over it. Nothing. 
It, ooh, hello. It's the bread brick. <laughs> it's fantastic noise. That's the that's the steadiest bread I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh, hi, Lappy Tappy. Such a cheerful dude after being chained up and mummified. Dark top. Lost in another world and shoved in a dock in the dark world eternity. You're right. He is pretty. Ooh. Picked up meat. Why do I have meat? Oh. Do I know? I want to say. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. A taste of Damascus rose, obfuscating the truth in the dim air. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, they will be back. Laffy Tappy. Oh boy. Doesn't this place just fill you with joy? The most awkwardly built place you've ever seen. I completely missed a vision, but that's probably for the best. Um. Let's just not think about it too much. Okay, good news is... Uh, hang on. The good news is, hang on. Oh. Dude, where's my little... Impressive. Holy. Okay, this place is haunted AF. Here, stare at this fire, this lovely comforting fire, and don't think about the insects. Just took a grip of with you last time, didn't you? Um. I tried. <laughs> uh, I last time I played this, I played with my sister, and we kind of forgot to take Agrippa's head with us. We just kind of assumed that we had it, so it was all very interesting. Shove your face into the flames. It's great for your stomach. Yeah, it is, pretty much. Such filthy thought. Good man can safely cheer, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. No, no. To go hang out with Agrippa. That seems like a nice chill place to be. This does not feel safe. <laughs> yeah, no, this, this, this is green. Everything's green. So I'm gonna say no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, please. Um, Right. Agrippa, the dying man, seeks a note written by a man named Johann Weyer. An orb is needed to enter the inner sanctum. Its shattered pieces lie scattered in the torture rooms. 
two levers on the top floor are not working. It's probably the same problem with the machinery. Okay, so let's go to the nave. It's only Cthulhu's veranda. <laughs> I, I hope so. Um, listen, we're gonna we're just we're gonna leave the the glowy green bit. who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Yeah. Isn't it great when you take time out of your busy day to learn how to torture people? Isn't that just just a wonderful way to go about your business? It's just double trickle triple checking that there's definitely not like handy dandy tools lying around. Cause that would be too much to ask, right? That's what I thought. Um, no convenient torture devices. What level? Oh, that level. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe there's an other room. There are machine parts hidden all over the place. Oh. You'll find a way to fix it. It can't be opened from here. Oh, I see. This must be. A heavy door is blocking the path. Okay, cool. That must be what the levers deal with, I imagine. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah! He, you know, he, I think I, I, I would hazard a guess he's probably telepathic at this point. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like this is the only place we can go. Um, if anybody sees any other doors, that would be great. You let me know. Uh, I don't think I need a hint just yet. I just, I just really want an alternative to the, to this room right here. Or is that wooden budge? Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? Uh, what do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth, after all. We're going to hell, by the way. Just putting it out there. Twelfth of August, 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. <laughs> Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. Mm -hmm. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, 
I shall be ready. Sounds legit. A bucket of tar. Dude, thank you. Chat was not scrolling correctly, so pardon me a moment. Okay, cool. Please let me take a hammer. Please, please, please. shattered orb. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa, I depended on it for my research. The incident with Wel Wilhelm made me most impetuous. Fearing a paucity of prison prisoners, I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six pieces. I have tried everything but have yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. There is still life in the pieces, and even if the orb is restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? Well, not very far with, you know, that attitude. Try harder, sir. Look at all these chickens. Oh boy. Just a casual chamber of yeah. death. Thank you. Stop yeeting. Stop it now. No, it's 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 fine. But oh my god. <laughs> this looks priceless. Yay. <laughs> <That's scary. laughs> yeah, boy. Thank God I'm not the only one experiencing terror right now. That's all I can say about that. Oh, don't you just love the green fires of death? Don't you just... Something suspiciously orb shaped. Owie. Okay, we've got a really big to do list and uh, a mystic barrier blocks the passage to the chancel. Great. Great.
Okay, so we need suspiciously orb shaped things. Is this your time of losing them? If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me? How dare you? I'm currently drumming and <laughs> screaming. <laughs> it's highly appropriate. Oh boy. Um. Oh. Is there a key or anything anywhere? No. Did somebody, did, did, like, did anyone else hear that? Because, uh, I sure didn't. Right? It's not just me being completely insane. Right? Uh, okay. Ugh. Don't you hear what me? seen anything vaguely or shape right am I right begun to, dr to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Well, that's a waste of laudanum. I'm sure it's dirt cheap where you come from, but there's no need for that. How are things coming? Who me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Akrim. I was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Okay, do you have any useful input? Like, at all? Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, did it say empty? Alexander really wanted none of this is Johan Eyer. You never heard of Johan Eyer? My god, boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world that has forgotten you? Oh, for a second it wouldn't let me in there, and I was like, oh my god, let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay, so here's... Can I? 
Oh, no, get. Bucket of tar. <laughs> Just beat the door down with a friggin' piece of meat. I'd love that. Good night. I can't uh, break that down just yet. Um. Come on, climb the stairs, you know you want to. either Oh yeah, I forgot that was on. <laughs> um, okay, nothing in there. Did we already go through there? Okay, this is the deadly stairs. Totally didn't forget. Well, I mean, me too. Don't you worry about that. Um, but seriously, I'm sure there's something here that I need. making it up, like, a lot, but... <laughs> has a new home now. Um, yes! I am a my pupil. My pupil. Yes. I do take pride in that. Is it so wrong? To the best of my knowledge, all of the rooms are empty. And this is where I got the meat. Oh, eight ball, you kidder. <laughs> okay. How are things coming? I found the meat by Caverns. The dark walls being the universe, and inside 
Als Balos. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the Balos do have one thing to have them a real sense of connection. Creation. The Orbs. Okay. Not many Orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves. Or break. Then lose by an amnesia. That's nice. Oh, no. Useless door. Okay, WWE. What do I need to do? Go on. It's your time to shine. Would you open, please? Thank you. I was enjoying watching you struggle. I don't enjoy struggling. Okay. There's some helpful blood splatter, but that doesn't solve my problems. get good I don't know how <laughs> it's easy you just gotta do the opposite of getting bad <laughs> you're right how could I have been so foolish to the table and look up where the guy is. I assume you mean Agrippa. Yeah, I know I gotta fix the machinery, but I can't find anything to fix the machinery with, which is the main problem here. Unless I've just been blind this whole time. I was a brave man and dared to perceive that I did not. He unearthed a number of cavern champions and gathered a whole bunch of orbs. Do you mean I don't need anything? Since the fall of the he was able to unshackle the heart. You and I connect with the orbs. He used them. You just gotta manhandle it. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's probably what got me stuck the very first time I played this, because we, you know, we just went around assuming there must be some way to fix this, but apparently not. You just gotta be a jerk to some stuff. Did I go in the wrong room? I feel like I went in the wrong room. Oh, okay, this is fine.
shove a griffin into it. The table where the oil is. No, you! The, the lever should be working. <sighs> Run. Do it faster. Now we pull the lever. Yes, we do. Thank you, WWE. That was a great tip. Um, now, radio silence until... I next need a, a hint in the next five minutes, probably. <laughs> no, I should be alright, but thank you for that. I completely forgot about that. Thank you. Have you guys considered subscribing to Tier 3? Just putting that out there? More emotes for you, and they're adorable. I want you to know that. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Back off, bucko. I have a hammer, and I have no idea how to use it. So. How things coming? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Yeah, we're doing great. My life is being threatened. A group of channels where? Where? I know he said it, but I've, uh... You're welcome to the Hell of the Gink WWE. You know, you can, you can change your username, so it will be, you know, that, if you want it to be. Uh, where taunts, taunts me from the other side? I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still, he insists on me releasing a gripper. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa. As he, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Weir claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first, so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. 
But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I've seen it in their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling. But I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. The poison fungi should work as a paralyzer. If I can find the internal gland from a, from a large specimen, the choir seems to be fertile grounds for this sort. I should be able to extract its contents from the with the proper tools. The vitae can be extracted as usual. Any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tapter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word, world with, with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's property. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kernick. I will have to address where with with this and he will have to supply me with a host also a properly prepared oh a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it oh okay i see you well i know where you is what you at You again. In court, the Order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place. Willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I'm the one and the, I'm the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their father's places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged by not time, but by anguish. Oh, he's got like three of these poking around. Okay, awesome. Choco cat. <laughs> Keep thinking about changing my name to Choco cat. <laughs> Hey, you do what you need to do, my guy. Oh! 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. I didn't do anything. No, no, no. Take the man, cut the lines. Take the man, cut the lines. Leave the man trapped. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Well, 
Daniel had a time. We're about to have a sleepy time. There isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Why is everything the way it is? Okay. Some torture rooms. I'm sad. I don't have my knife. Oh, Jesus! He was not there before. Neither was he, I think. No, no, okay. This is the way we came. And there's just a bunch of corpses. That's fun. Always fun. Ah, oh, yes, the choir. Behave. <laughs> Christina would go. I'll go the way of the pot. <laughs> the thick liquid spread across his tongue, he swallowed. Excessively. Excuse me. Oh, fudge. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. No, you! <laughs> Holy crap. Nobody likes that. You're not, uh, doing great, are you? You haven't started enough candles at all. What? Oh, okay, I'm stood inside a cage. Never mind. Okay. The forager stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spike points of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eyes had ruptured and begun to leak. Of his eye. Whoopsie doodle. What a bother. Okay. Ooh. A piece of the orb. Okay, that's one. Hey guys, check this out. You can put yourself in here. Why you'd want to, I don't know. But you can. 
Pitney Alexander was just in there for the science. <laughs> yep, science. That is exactly why he was here. Daniel's a masochist. <laughs> Entirely possible. Oh, he's not a he's not a happy boy. Yeah, this isn't working for you, is it, buddy? This is so bad. Oh, shoot. I missed the bridge. Oh, is there anything on this side or? Oh, it's another bridge. Do you see anything? Oh sh! No, go away, back off. It's uh. Oh dear. Oh, Jesus. Oh, bye. Oh, dear. Listen, you, you, you can't. You just, you can't. It's not allowed. Back off. Oh, no, I'll, I'll back off. Sorry, my bad. I think I've literally just run me back to the... Yeah. <laughs> Boy, was I ready for that. <laughs> Hide and wait? I couldn't, could I? I'd been spotted. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is one of those times where I wish uh, the universe had, you know, lights. Okay, this, I believe, is the torture room. Sure is, how you doing? Benchmark met. Now, I just super need any other kind of, uh, or Where'd it go? Where is he? I'm gonna be dying a lot. This achieved 
little, but I'm not entirely mad about that. The reason being is because I'd rather achieve nothing than die repeatedly. Um, some may disagree, some may think that's not how you fulfill your goals, and I would say that I disagree. Please tell me this is a different room. Oh, oh it is. Find a way. Oh. The trader did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of the fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he, did he realize it would be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Ooh. Okay, cool. Just so we're clear, there's nothing in there. I found the piece that we need. We found the bull room. We've got two of six pieces. Its texture and color are constantly changing. Ooh. The tissue is quite soft and could possibly be broken. <gasps> Picked up a poison gland! Son, stop it. Stop it, you. Here we have what we like to call a dead end. Fun fact, apparently the man who invented the brazen bull was also executed in it. Um, well, I guess if there's any other way you'd want to go, it'd be your own torture device. That's kind of what you get, really, isn't it? Like... Not to be a dick to people, but if you're going to invent torture devices, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I heard the guy who invented the guillotine did it because they objected to the death sentence, since they wanted it to be as humane as possible. Huh. Well. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Where is it? This is the bull room again. Or is it? Ooh, it's not. 
The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Quick question. Can I have that sledgehammer? I just really want to take it with me. Like, not to make a huge deal out of it or anything, but... It would, that, would, that would be such a solid if you would just, uh... Do that for me. You know what I mean? And by that, what I mean is... One's coming. There it is. You see it? It's there. It's there. I don't like it. Just putting that one out there. Not one's biggest fan. Oh, there it is. Do not let it see me. Don't let it see me.
okay. It's over there. There's more of them. I only ever thought there was one. That's a problem. We've got, we had the one in the wheel room, the Iron Maiden room, and the uh, other one, the other one room, the, the wheel room, wheel room, bowl room, and uh, The, the Iron Maiden room. Hi! Uh... I feel like this is the Iron Maiden room again, isn't it? We're just going in a big old circle. Um... Yeah. This is fine. I'm just gonna stand here and stare at this. And, uh... write some stuff down just so I remember it um iron maiden room uh bowl room and the peel room I don't necessarily need uh, what one might call help at present, but god damn it, it would be nice to have a map, don't you think? Just somewhere we can be like, ah, yes, this room, in this direction. But no, I have to actually be cognizant of where I'm going constantly, and it's very stressful. And I'm writing it down, because... Um, it's getting to be late. I'm going a little over, um, because I started slightly late, but, um, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I'm just trying not to get lost, and that's easier said than done. There seems to be a whole lot of, I don't know what, a whole lot of nothing in this direction. Okay, cool. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Shoving your faces into candelabras is more important than sleep, damn it. Right? Nobody needs sleep. Who needs sleep? Sleep is for the week. Uh, we've been here. This is the wheel room. Yeah, wheel room. Been here. Done that. Bought us the t shirt. Um, 
so yeah looks like they get real dramatic about it for a while and then they calm down because nothing just nothing just stop it <laughs> okay i think we're headed towards the ballroom again If I recall correctly... Oh, Jesus! Thank you, Laffy Taffy. <laughs> that wasn't frightening at all. Yep, this is where... This was the bull room when we got our little spore... thing. trying to pick the loudest sound you could. I'm honestly sure there's louder. If you've got bits, you can always check them out. Um, but we've got some free options and we've got some ones you can get with bits. Okay, Bridge, it's you and me. Bridge Areno. Bridge old buddy old pal. Okay, but this is probably the Iron Maiden room again. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's fine. As long as I'm following something. Mainly the wall. We'll be able to find something new. We don't want to go there. Uh-huh. Okay. This is the danger zone. They're all congregating here. Deal with it, buddy. Can I get a John Cena? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You might. It's been a while since I checked over the sounds. I'll be honest with you. But, uh... You can, if you hover over the screen, you'll be able to see it, because it is, um... It's a component, not a panel, which means you won't find it in the bit below, you'll find it on the screen. This is the bull room. Oh no, this is the wheel room. Okay. sure we're supposed to be able to do that.
But anyway, I think this is the wrong side. So. <laughs> If you guys see any surreptitiously hidden or positioned doors that think, oh look, that looks strangely closed. Friggin' bridge just constantly makes me nervous. Every time I see it, I'm like, is that the enemy? Oh my, and you know, if my enemy was a bridge, life would be easier. this happening? How is this happening? I could. I could conquer my my uh, bridge enemy by walking on it. Show it who's boss. You have all six orbs. No, I've got three. I keep running into the same three uh, three rooms. the wall and follow it. Yep, that's my plan, and yet. <laughs> the choir is super annoying. It really is. Okay, so that is the thingy room. I got the glowy thingy. I'm just... It's like, uh, what? Like, it is, it is scary and everything, but it's also super tedious. All you can ever seem to find is three rooms. Okay, that's that's gonna be the Iron Maiden room though, isn't it? So And this is the bridge. So, what is this? Oh, but <laughs> Okay, well, that's that. Um Oh boy.
I do. I regularly... I regularly cross the bridges. Okay, so I got this one. Daniel does not like this room. I feel like he's got some unresolved issues here. Can you throw stuff at them? One cannot, generally. Oh, well, I mean, you can, but it won't stop them. Okay, this is the bull room. Observe. It is incredibly bull-like. at the pillars and then in the darkness I think oh is that a door and of course it isn't I got the orbs in the iron maiden room the bull room and the wheel room made several attempts to find literally any other room and have failed. <laughs> Many times. Seems like once they're chasing you, you can't do much to escape. But you can throw stuff if you're trying. It's, I've got six pieces, right? They won't stay together. I need the six of them. Oh, I should be in the transept. Okay. Where are the- oh, the other thing. Okay. Now I just have to leave. You're right. For some reason I thought they'd all be in here. I don't know why. Uh, okay. So... We're on the right side of the thingy, because Iron made a room. So there's gonna be a door somewhere here. Just a little bit more. Yes, here we go. The other side, okay. never do that again. Did we, did we already go in here? We did. Okay. These are the torture rooms. And then there were bodies hanging from the ceiling. Um, 
And then there weren't, apparently, any more. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to a reservoir. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate back. Please, find the ingredients that the Pazatonic via this guy. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the hall, you won't be able to save me. Okay, random person I just met and have no memory of. Something died inside him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. How does that make you feel? The cradle is ready. Good. You! You're a man! How did you partake in this? Is he alright? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man! It was an accident! He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. The sound of the pigeons flapping their wings drove me utterly insane when I played this. If you're wearing a headset, it sounds like they flap right next to your head. Oh god. Okay, um, oh, I see something hidden in the corner there, um, we'll deal with that later, because reasons. We've gotten everything we need to out of this particular room. Mm. Oh dear. That's for sure. Um, oh boy. Looks like a fun hobby. sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted 
and her body followed. Her soldiers gave way to the weight of her own body and cried loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the man contemplated their as the men contemplated their next step. Oh. Look. Get it together, dude. Letting you do it, but I'm not back to the game. Just giving you a hint. Yeah, of course. Rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood, flooding his belly. The sore between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Fun time! You reached, find a way to lower the vessel. do here? I've forgotten completely. Give me... Bucket of tar. We don't have to come back for anything, do we? It's like, I think the solution is in here somewhere. I'm just struggling to exist, apparently. You need to come back with something else. Okay. go up here because we haven't done that yet. Eh. He's really struggling with these stairs.
Is it you, my love? I'm... Is it you, my love, I miss the most? Or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me. And after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this was not the case. The humans all have very similar all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I'm, I'm after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of the presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear. Simply by imagining it while applying pain, make sure to avoid massive... Ma while applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses. In doses. In, in doses. That's in, I kept going in dosive. Like, what? What? If possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once. Wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the, bo as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, <sighs> it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. The amnesia drink! Ooh. Ooh. So reloading! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Is this the only room up here? I mean, like, I'm not mad about it, but... Okay. I could have sworn there were, like, at least one other room when I got up here. <laughs> was it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. No, it wasn't. You lied to me. I mean, I lied to me. I think it was this one. <laughs> I'd say you could sleep at any time. Yay! Somebody loves me. I feel looked after already. Um... Clink. Glass jar of blood. This jar has done well to survive as long as it has. Like, if it were me in real life, I probably would have smashed it by now or used literally any other jug at any given point. I'm shocked that this jug has lasted so long. But it's probably just because it's acid-proof or something. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I got them. Where's my jar of tar? More appropriate what place needs to be. Okay. So we're just looking for something else. Think that water monster is hungry for meats? By, uh... I'll be honest, I don't really remember, uh... Was there any other doors? I think there was, I'm not sure. I might be thinking of the room before this one. Yeah. The room before this one. Good times. Is it here? Was it this one? Is this the exit? No, it's not the exit, is it? It isn't. Hey, there we go. There it is. Right on the other side of this room. Okay, so. It had gone too far. The man was suffering as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look like... Something, some, some word I wasn't computing. That's enough for that. Oh, look. Um, do I just need to, like, uh, lower this into the thing? Daniel's a ghost. You can see the shadow of the the pulling, but uh, I can't reach it. There we go. Picked up remains. I see that all the odd pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you, but if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Bias Taka before attempting to mend the all. There might still be a chance for you to save me. Already got him. Please, my faith is in your heart. I guess that works too. <laughs> I see that all the odd pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask it. Uh, anything of you. Okay, we need. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Vias Taka. Before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Alright, okay, here's... My faith is in your hands. Okay, so... Listen. We have everything we need to do to progress. Um, I see that all the all shush you. I I, I, know I, have no I think. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Vias Taka before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is in your heart. Uh, yes, it is. Um. 
Good luck to you. A group of the dying man wants a specific tonic made to save him. One note speaks of a mixture made of three ingredients, bottom, a mystic barrier, blah blah blah, an orb, blah blah blah. The laboratory is not open yet. It will be open later. That is a mystery for next time, because I think it is about time to call it for the evening. Listen, you guys, um, I mentioned this the other day, but now that I've got you all here, I'll just reiterate a little bit. Um, I don't know what the session on Sunday is going to look like, but we will be here on Saturday as normal with um, Final Fantasy VII. Um, and if it might be late or we might not do it at all, but I'm doing some D and D with my friends, um, and I, I'm you know wholly excited for it. But it will it kind of ends when I would normally start streaming. So if Sims Four does happen on Sunday, it might be slightly slightly later than usual. Um, if not, then we'll have to rejig the timetable a little bit. So I have Sundays free and we'll just stream probably one of the days that, you know, either Monday or Thursday. Days that I don't typically stream on. Yes, D&D is worth every, everything. Um, but... Um, give me a whole lot of seconds. There you go. Sorry, that was a bot. Um, I ha For those of you who missed it, very start of the session, we hadn't even gone off the starting screen. I was raided by bots, like twenty-five of them. So we hadn't we had an experience <laughs> the start of the stream. If you if you missed that, um, Mimi. Um, that was a whole thing. Um. You're welcome for help with Amnesia Dog Descent. Yes, thank you. You were very helpful this session. Um, please do pop by whenever you're about. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for being here. As it stands, I will leave you here tonight. Give me a hot second to see if there's a raid going on. Or anybody worth raiding. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Keep it in the, keep it in the spooky theme. Um, please do stay for the raid. And, um, I will see you guys next time. You know, sleep well when you go. If not, have a great time zone. And I will see you guys tomorrow.